Hey, what's up guys, Rish New Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use a 16 channel server controller with a Raspberry Pi. Let's get right into this video. So currently, I just have a Raspberry Pi Zero, and it's hooked up to the Adafruit um, clone. And this was a better one, I think, because it costs less and has a capacitor on board. Whatever, so I just powered off a five volt USB power supply. Um, I just took off the wires from the end of a micro USB cable and put that in. I connected four wires to the Pi. So the wires I connected were VCC, ground, SDA, and SCL. I wired them up to the corresponding pins on the Pi. If you have any one of the newer Pis, including the Pi Zero, Pi Zero W, Pi Two, Pi Three, or Pi B, uh, revision two, you can just uh, use these pins. So the VCC is the top left. The one under that is SDA. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. The one under that is SDA. Um, the one under that is SCL, and the third one down on the right side is ground. So once you have that all wired up, just take a random server that you have. I'm working on a dog project right now, and just plug it in to port zero, uh, with the PWM part facing up. And now just uh, make the Pi image. This is pretty easy. Everyone's probably done it. So just make the Pi image. Flash on the card. Just set up Raspberry as normal. And I'll lead you through the steps right now. So now we are here on VNC. Um, it's on the Raspberry Pi. You could just use SSH, but for people who are using the normal Pi desktop interface, I'm just going to show how to use it. So you're going to be wanting using a uh, Wi-Fi connection for this. You want to want to be on desktop uh, Wi-Fi. You could be on any Pi you want it to be, but this is just on the Pi Zero, what I'm using right now. But it would also work on any Pi. So first command would be sudo. Uh, you can go along with the tutorial. I'm not going to speed anything up. So you go sudo apt get install Python and it's just going to be smbus. On most Pi's, they should already be pre-installed, so there's no need to install anything. Yeah, told you. Next thing is you're gonna want to install uh, there's another package called IC I2C Tools. IC2 is the interface they're gonna be using. Again, it's already it's already pre-installed on most uh, Pi's with the newest version, but I'm just gonna do this anyway. Yeah, if you have the newest version of Raspbian, Jesse, or whatever that thing is now, it ought to be pre-installed. Right, so now the next thing we're going to do is add a file to um, flash etc slash conf. So what we're going to do is do sudo nano slash etc slash mod probe dot d slash rasp um, blacklist dot conf oh sorry uh, I forgot to put a space right here okay so just add this and comment out this thing that's all you're gonna need to do here command x k now the next thing you want to do is do sudo i to c i to c detect minus y o and uh, if it's not if it's not found, that means you don't have the original Pi. So it'll still work now. So just do a sudo i to c detect. This is, only one. this is only if the first one doesn't work. But both of them aren't working. Oh, it's because it's one word. But uh, for everyone out there, you should use sudo ic to detect minus y one because it's like a real one for most Pis. And you just get this. This is normal. This is what you're supposed to get. This is just the PWM things. So after we finish doing that, let's learn how to use the Adafruit library. So the first thing you want to do is type in. It's a long one. Just, um, the full page for uh, for install instructions will be linked in the description, so you guys can check it out there. Just do sudo apt get install get build and uh essential python dev again most of these will already be pre-installed there might be very few that need to be installed yeah all of them are pre-installed 
if you have the newest Pi version, it'll be probably be pre-installed. So we just do that. Go to home directory. I don't really care. So get next would be uh, we're gonna be get cloning the Adafruit um, repository for using a 16 channel driver servo. Now you could write your own code for all this, but I just find it's a lot easier just to use a uh, Adafruit's library. First, could you ATPS blah blah GitHub dot com slash Adafruit slash Adafruit underscore python underscore p c a nine six eight five okay i'm doing this really slowly so you guys can follow along uh dot git just let it clone in too and it's done so it finished uh cloning so now we're gonna need to go to that place so the first thing we're gonna do is just navigate into the directory. So we, we're gonna just gonna do CD A. Yep. It's just tab button. And now we just do sudo Python then tab. And at the end we're just gonna put install. So we'll just let it run install. Right, so now we finished installing, and now we just go. To, now uh, it's successfully done. So now we finished uh, installing the Adafruit library to control our servos. So if you want to test, so now that we've set up all the commands on our computer, all we have to do is navigate to the Adafruit Python PCA, uh, the address that we need, uh, the folder that it installed in. So now we just do CD examples, and here what we do is just do sudo python simple test.py and if we run the simple test the servo on channel 0 starts moving that's it guys thank you for watching this video if you liked it then please subscribe and if you loved it then share it with your friends and like the video too thank you for watching my name is Rishnu Purala and I'm gone